Hey everyone, welcome to Brick Vault. My name is Jack. Today is another LEGO Weekly News update. This week, some very large sets were revealed by LEGO. And what's interesting about both of these sets is that they're actually going to be released on the exact same day, which basically never happens. Also, the list of Ninjago sets, at least for the first reveal or the first set of sets for Ninjago, the Lego Ninjago movie. The names of those sets have been released and um, also Lego Ideas has had some updates. Uh, a new set was also uh, accepted with the 10,000 votes of support. And before we get into all that stuff, uh, first, let's check out what's going on with Amazon sales this week. All right, and this is just the example video from a previous news episode, and down below is also an example list of a bunch of sets that are on sale at Amazon right now. These sets appearing in front of you are the ones that are currently brand new to the Amazon sale list, and they've just been added this week. And all right, getting into the news, the uh, first big story that I want to talk about is the official pictures for the NASA Apollo Saturn 5 set has been revealed. Initially, I saw this article from Alan Train at thebrickfan.com, and finally, we have images of the long-awaited Ideas Project. And I gotta say, with the official reveal, I'm really, really stoked about this set now. I think it turned out above and beyond what I, at least, was expecting. Granted, I hadn't followed the original Ideas Project that much, but I didn't realize that this uh, rocket was gonna be able to unfold and, well, basically break apart exactly how it breaks apart in reality, or how it did back when they uh, first launched men to the moon. So the rocket comes apart in three main sections, at least at first, and these three sections uh, have little stands that hold it up so you can display the model on its side. But then I think uh, the, one of the coolest aspects of the entire set is that you can uh, break apart the front sort of tip of the rocket, and inside we have the uh, concealed lander. When you get a closer look at the lander, it's awesome. It's uh, scaled so well, we have a pretty simple print that makes up that little dish on the front. And you'll also notice that included are three micro figs. Those are the astronauts. Great prints for their bodies there. And there is a, a little tile piece that shows the American flag. And when we get into some of the more logistical aspects of the set, it is uh, about a meter high, which makes it, I think, one of the tallest Lego sets ever. It's going to be just shy of 2,000 pieces coming in at 1,969 pieces and will sell for $120 in the States. That is pretty darn good for the park to price ratio. And I'd say all in all, Lego has knocked this set out of the park. Congratulations to the original design designers Felix Steisen and Valerie Rocher, and also the uh, Lego designers that took over the project did an awesome job as well. Really, really cool stuff, and I can't wait to pick this thing up on June 1st. And if that date sounds a little bit familiar to you, maybe you've recognized that also that is the same day that the Creator Carousel set is uh, going to be released as well. This week, also the official images for that were revealed. I already did a mini episode on that. It's going to go for around 200 bucks and was designed by Mike Pisaki. He's a pretty awesome builder. We have a couple of copies of his personal mocks here in the studio. But anyways, the detailing for this set looks awesome, and I'm really stoked to pick this thing up. Remember, June 1st. There might be VIP early access for this, but uh, that has not yet been announced. All right, and just like how last week the lead story was we got a big old list of Star Wars sets that are coming soon, and specifically those were all the prices and stuff, so we can kind of guesstimate what, uh, at least uh, the caliber of the sets that we're going to be getting from Star Wars. And now we've got a new list this week, and this is the list of of names from the new Ninjago movie set. No prices are associated with them, uh, we just have to kind of guess what they are off the name, so I'm just gonna play a bit of the trailer and read off the names of the new sets. There is Spinjitsu Training 70606, Ninjago City Chase 70607, Master Falls 70608. Oh yeah, by the way, this information came from Brickset.com, links in the video description below. Manta Ray Bomber is the next set, 70609, then Water Strider, 70611. There is a number skipped there, by the way. Then Green Ninja Mech Dragon, that is 612. Lightning Jet 614. There's another skipped number between this one and the last one. We've got Fire Mech. Definitely had a picture of Fire Mech. And the last two are a little bit uh, less easy to guess about. One is Temple of the Ultimate 617 and Destiny's Bounty 618. If you haven't been keeping track, there are three set numbers that are skipped between that number sequence, which means we are going to be getting probably in the near future after this particular release, another 
separate set of uh, Ninjago sets, and uh, those numbers should be fleshed out, at least three more. <clears throat> well, three more not including, I mean, of course, there's I think around 25 in total that are scheduled for the entire uh, series of sets for this movie. Now let's move on to LEGO Ideas. If you don't know what LEGO Ideas is, it's a website you submit your own LEGO creation and if 10,000 people choose to support it, it then gets sent to LEGO for the review stage and it possibly gets turned into a set. This week, the set Medieval Watermill gained 10,000 supporters. So congratulations to the Builder Fishing Twister. This is a pretty awesome looking build. There's a few distinctive features that really make this thing pop out. Uh, specifically, all the nice sort of offset tile pieces that really make this thing look sort of thatched together in kind of a rough and tumble way. And also I think one of the unique features of this thing is that it's got this great outward angle on one side of the uh, entire mill. It makes the thing feel a little bit more cartoony and certainly it has a lot more personality. It comes with a few uh, pretty cool minifigs and I think it feels like a very complete uh, little scene. Best of luck to the Builder Fishing Twister on getting approved and I'm sure it has a better chance of uh, getting approved than the Rivendell uh, build that they also got 10,000 supporters for in the past. That one was super awesome. It was just way too big for LEGO to ever actually make into a set. Also, when you see the medieval watermill on the trending list, what is that next to it? Oh yeah, that's our uh, <laughs> portal device build. That is of course the Rick and Morty portal gun, but I put a uh, portal device because I don't think that title would have passed through the screening process for LEGO ideas. But if you do wanna see the video for that and possibly support us, I will leave a link for that in the video description below as well as links for everything I'm talking about in this uh, episode. Might seem a little bit redundant to support it because I mean, it's not gonna actually pass a uh, review stage. So the entire act is somewhat pointless, but in a certain regard, that is somewhat appropriate to the Rick and Morty theme. Nobody exists on purpose. Nobody belongs anywhere. Everybody's gonna die. Come watch TV. Hmm, I thought that clip was gonna be a little bit funnier in the edit. Anyways, uh, came out a little bit dark. There is another set I would like to promote from LEGO Ideas. This is a build called Parisian Corner by the creator C. Morte. Or maybe you pronounce it Morty considering the uh, tag name is Brick and Morty. But either way, this is an awesome build. I'm a big fan of modular sets. And this uh, modular building comes in a color combination that is strikingly simple, but we've never really gotten a good modular build in most tan. Also, the detailing is wonderful. It's called Parisian Corner for a uh, specific reason. We have, there's a lot of iron rot grates that uh, cover the balcony, and uh, the roof is very iconic in terms of uh, that Paris or French architecture. And granted, a lot of the stuff on the inside are things that we've seen uh, from other modular creator sets, or things very similar to it, at least. Specifically, I'm referring to the Parisian restaurant, uh, like with the kitchen and stuff like that in the first floor. And we also have had a bakery in the most recent assemblies square set, but still I think the interior is fleshed out incredibly well here, and this is a build that would really break up the look of uh, the existing modular buildings that are currently on the market right now. I will leave a link for this in the description below if you want to check it out, and also I just encourage you guys in general just to check out LEGO Ideas from time to time and search through the archives and see if you find anything that you think might be an awesome LEGO set, because it really all does start with uh, people supporting the current projects that are, that are circulating around out there. Now technically there are a few other little things that happened throughout the week. Toys R Us revealed their Princess Leia mini build. This will be happening on May 6th. You can sort of sign up at your local Toys R Us to uh, kind of get in there and do this little mini build. It might be fun for kids, but I gotta say on a personal note, I'm not really impressed with the way this little uh, brick built Princess Leia fig looks. Once again, this might be a good thing for collectors or kids. Anyways, uh, Alan Tran has an article on there and I believe there is a link if you want to sign up at your local Toys R Us. Also, the Blu-ray bundle is being sold there, and specifically at Toys R Us, you do get one of those mini Batmobile poly bags that was being distributed a month or two ago. That is set for the price of $35 US, and also remember there are different kind of special bundles you can get for uh, the Lego Batman movie at other stores as well. All right, that is it for this episode, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching. Remember, if you enjoy our content, you can always like or subscribe and tune in same time next week for another LEGO Weekly News update. Also, tomorrow, Mike is doing the top 10 mocks of the week. We basically switch off every Sunday on who gets to do that episode. We choose uh, 
what we think are the coolest mocks uh, that people have been building all around the world. And uh, we make an episode out of that. So that is Mike's episode for tomorrow. I even look forward to watching that when I don't get to make the episode because uh, people are always making crazy and cool and weird and different and surprising things out of LEGO all the time. So anyways, hope you guys check that episode out tomorrow. And uh, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time at Brick Ball. Thank <laughs> you.